Hi everyone, it's Agnes, and today we have got a special guest, Orlet. Hi Orlet, she's in Israel. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, Orlet and I are going to go through today because I know some of you would like to start a YouTube channel and Orlet and I decided we would do this online together so you can see the process of what we talk about, of how to start a YouTube channel, ideas, questions, problems. We're going to discuss that today. So we are going to start all it with you asking some questions and then we'll just go from there. Okay, thank you. Uh, I wanted to ask a, a basic question. It's not exactly about the YouTube itself. It's yep. how do you overcome the, the fear, the nerves? Good question. I think what you do is you just record firstly you come up with a good idea you go okay this is something I'm interested in and if you're really interested in the subject that helps you it's not going to get rid of the nerves but it's going to help you because you're interested in the subject secondly when you first do your first five YouTubes you're going to have fears you're going to have nerves you're going to be freaking out because you're recording and you know other people are going to see it Remember, whatever you record, if you're not happy with it, you can just delete it. So it takes the pressure oh. off. You. It takes the pressure off. Just record it and watch it. And then you might go, oh, I said too many ums or I looked a bit uncomfortable or, you know, I, I had too many pauses in the video or whatever it is. You're going to be more critical in the beginning because you're doing them for the first time. So just go, okay, if I'm not happy, I'm going to delete. Try and be as concise and as clear as you can. And that takes practice. What What's what that? What do you mean about, what does it mean concise? Concise means like keep it really short, simple together. So if, if you're going to talk about uh, reading the secret in Hebrew on a series of YouTubes, as we were just discussing before we started recording, then you go, okay, in my description, I'm going to write the secret in Hebrew. And then you're going to write, you know, in the description, we'll talk about descriptions later. You're yeah. going to write. Exactly. I have some questions about yeah. that. So you're going to write a little bit about what you're talking about in that YouTube, but make sure you stick to what you're doing. What you're doing in the video matches exactly what's in your title because sometimes people put up a title and then they start talking about other things and you're going, hang on a minute, I came on this YouTube to listen to this and you're talking about something else. And that happens a lot in YouTubes from what I hear. And also I watch YouTubes mm -hmm. too, so I can see if some people do that. Make sure you stick to what's in your description you talk about in the video and you make sure they go together. That's one of the most important things. Okay, and um, I have the topic of practice of wanting to do LOA in, in Hebrew, but yes. it's not so common. Yes. So I wanted to ask you, how do I select a topic? Like you knew that you wanted LOA, but if I, like I've been asking people at work, yeah. Telling people at work that I wanted to open a YouTube and they've been asking me about what. Yes. So the explaining was a bit difficult. So yeah. I was thinking about like opening uh, maybe about the food in Israel or yeah. where to go see sites in Israel. So how do I every time choose a topic? Well, like, do I need the can I make the channel general? Yes, you could have the, the, the channel as information about Israel and Hebrew because you're going to be reading. So if you do something like that, that's kind of your big umbrella, right? You're, let, you're, you're sharing with the world more about your culture. So you go, okay, there's the umbrella of the channel. And then within that umbrella, I'm, it's like a tree that's got different branches. So, you know, okay. with, to give you an example, because you know my channel, 
the, the, the tree is law of attraction. The branches are meditation, success stories, interviews, viewers' questions, um, reading the success stories. So the tree has got different branches under the, the whole umbrella of the tree, you see. Yeah, but if, but yeah. if I want to do like the... Go ahead. The, the concept about the food and where to go in Israel, it's not so much laws of attraction. So yeah. what do I do at the, the well, main of the tree? Well, you're, the, you're, your main part of the tree is... Israel and culture and Hebrew because that's your okay. that's the trunk of the tree then what you would do okay. would be okay I'm gonna do uh, some YouTubes about the food some YouTubes about places to go some YouTubes about the language some YouTubes about reading stuff in Hebrew and maybe explaining it in English where you do half Hebrew half English within the one YouTube as an example okay Wow, so, that's very good. Yeah, and then <laughs> you know, you know, Orlet, how we do playlists. Yeah. So, so how I have a meditation playlist, a success story playlist, you would do the same. You have a food playlist. You have a oh. um, where to go playlist. So you okay. you branch it out, and then you group them as you do more. Under your food okay. playlist, under your places to visit playlist, under interest. How do I do the playlist? Well, the playlists is when you upload a video, there's a little section and it shows you which playlist. You, you have to create a playlist first, but you can't create one. Okay. Until it's like on my my channel my own channel i have an own, my own youtube and i create playlists and then i put like for yours i put um a playlist for what to hear at night what to hear at, yes. in the morning and then i put the meditations according to that exactly right it's the same thing exactly the same okay so i have my oh, that's what i wanted to say i have my own gmail Yes. And I opened a new Gmail. So can I um, not open a YouTube channel on my Gmail because my stuff are private? Well, that's a really good oh. question. When you start a YouTube channel, make sure you always, always, always sign in on the, on the email account. Mm. Otherwise, it creates another channel. If, you, if, say, you've logged in under your private one, Mm -hmm. It sets up a whole new channel for you. You don't want to do that. So always yeah. say to yourself, I've got to make sure I, I log in under the email address I want to load my channel on. Okay. So should I do a, a new one that people won't see or do you have like one that everyone can see and it's the same? I have one business one and that... Oh, one, one business one and one personal one? And one, one personal one, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, and how, so I can change it according to the, the, when I get on the YouTube, I can change the Gmail, the mail itself. Yeah. When you log into Google, if you've got okay. Gmail, you log into Google, you just select whichever one. Cause if they're both Gmail accounts, you select, okay, that's the one I want for the YouTube channel. Just make sure every time you sign in to upload a video, or to do any any kind of YouTubing on your channel, you sign in under the very channel that you want, under yeah. the email you, that you, you have want. To have email to open the YouTube channel, no? I think you probably do because it's run by Google. I don't know if you can do it under a Hotmail yeah. or a Yahoo. I'm not sure actually, Orlet. I've never tried, but yeah, because Google owns YouTube, it would make sense that they would want you to open a Gmail account. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So I, I wrote, what, uh, how do you write the title? You yes. already explained how to get the title, but how do I write it? Because when I upload, will there be a space for the title? Yes, when you upload, there is, your video goes up and underneath it's got description. Oh, okay. And just a, between the description and the video, there's the title. So that's where you just put one line. Okay. Okay. And I've seen on YouTube, not on your channel, so yeah. I'm not sure about that, that there is an introduction. 
Yeah. Like you do an interview. And then they say, if you want to keep uh, watching, go see the YouTube. Yeah. And then they like doing the stuff they're doing. And it's not the same. They're not the same clothes. Like in the introduction, they're talking like free, free language. And in the video, it's very um, edited. So do you know that? Have you seen it? I'm not sure what you mean. You mean it's like, like, a if you like say, it's all written in words? No, 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 no. Like you're saying, um, like you said, hello, this is my conversation with Orlit. Yeah. And then if you want to keep watching, see the video. And then you pause and then you have a, a, a totally different video about with me and you. Yes. With you dressed different and like the whole contact. But you have an introduction. Haven't oh, you seen one like that? Like an like um an introduction to the whole channel. Yeah. Yes. Not to the channel, to the the video. Oh, to the video itself. Yeah. If you do that, I th if you have to start doing editing. Yeah. So, I have a question about editing. Yeah. You so, don't do editing. No, I made a decision. I do not want to do any editing. I don't like it. I started doing it. I find it really boring. So I, if I'm not happy with the video, rather than cut it and fix it, I just delete it and start again. It's editing for every five minutes takes about an hour of editing. So it's a lot of work. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because all the YouTubes in Israel I see, are editing yeah. except when they're doing a vlog but also the vlogs they edit I haven't seen in Israel someone I haven't except you yeah yeah <laughs> I haven't seen a channel without editing yeah I'm very I'm um, very see my my thing's the simplest you can do if you don't want to you know some people have the, <laughs> the beginning thing and the end thing but the thing is yeah. I just think when I watch a video I just want to get to the information. I don't want to see someone's branding or someone's nice graphics or I'm not interested in any of that because it just takes up 15, 20 seconds when I could be watching the video. I know a lot of people like doing that and that's fine. We all have our different ways. I just think it's quick, simple when you're first starting a YouTube channel to make it as easy for yourself in the beginning because like you say, you're already nervous and a bit scared about video. Yeah. So it's like yes. if, you, if you have to do that and editing and, you know, it puts a lot of pressure on you in the beginning. I think get comfortable with the videoing and then if you want to do editing later, then you can start because you already feel comfortable with giving information to people on video. So try and make it easy for yourself in the beginning. Let me just do what I absolutely have to do, which is I've got to practice my, what I want to talk about. I've got to practice my confidence. I got to practice letting go of the fear. I got to let all that go and just try and be as natural as I can. And yeah. I think it's the people that are the most natural that are the people that you relate to the most. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Um I I want to ask you uh, I know there's a problem with the music. Yes. If I want to put music in the video, I know there's, um, I forgot the word in English, uh, rights, not rights, uh, um, you can't put in. Yeah, it's copyright, copyright music. Yeah. So yeah. you've got, you can actually go to YouTube now and you put into the search bar, you put in YouTube royalty free or cop no copyright music and they've got oh, their own. Okay. They've got a whole bunch of music you can choose and you know you will not get into trouble. That's so nice because I saw YouTubers who told the people that they put in the music and then YouTube didn't. Yeah. That's another question. YouTube needs to, I don't know if it's like uh, this overseas, but I think in Israel, YouTube needs to clarify the video. Okay, so they need to say yes or no. Yeah. Okay. I've heard of, uh, of people that who YouTube uh, delayed the, the release of the show and sometimes it's because of the music and yeah. stuff. So I know that your meditations, the music is original. So yeah. I don't know if you 
if you got that problem, but some people put in music like a bit of uh, bits and pieces, not the whole thing. Yeah. And so you say they got it from the list probably? Well, they've got it from the list or they've got it from other YouTube. There's some whole YouTube channels that do, uh, if you put into YouTube um, music. Can you put? We'll put the link the, down below. Uh, in the description, uh, the name exactly, what I need to put in YouTube so I can remember. Yes. What, what we'll do is after we've recorded this and I upload it, I'll put down the, there's some royalty free and no copyright free music sites you can yeah. use. Um, I mean, this was the reason why, you know, on my big channel, yeah. I didn't do music for my meditations for a long time because I was scared that I'd get in trouble from YouTube yeah. by using someone's music and then they would take my channel off me. I was scared they were going to take it away because mm -hmm. I, I was doing the wrong thing, you know? So I thought, right, until I know what I'm doing, until I research this. So I found out I could use music directly from the YouTube channel, the, the actual YouTube okay. people, yeah. um, but they didn't have a very good selection of long, they were all five, six minutes long at the most. Yeah. Now, when you do your meditation, that's not long enough. So no. that's when I got one of the viewers, Rayu, she, she approached me and said, look, if you want, I can help you with the music. And I thought, well, great. That's original music. Then there's no problem. Yeah. And, and that's how, but see, when you start, you don't know all this stuff. You just basically, you start where you are, which is, you know what you know, and then you learn a little bit, you learn a little bit, you learn a little bit, and it gets bigger and bigger and you get more confident in what you're doing. I was so not confident at all in the beginning because I had no idea what I was doing. And do you, um, you don't have these stuff, but there are like people who put on, I, I'm guessing now it's uh, in the editing stuff. Yeah. They put in like pop-up stuff. Like if you want to go see the last meditation yeah. and then it comes up on the side or up the, up the top in the corner. Yeah. There's, yeah that's or, part of YouTube. When you, when you upload your video, yeah. it, it gives you the option to put in um, what they call end, end screens or uh, tags at the top so that it says subscribe. Oh. Or so the tag is like when you want to put in your Instagram, you should put your Instagram account. Yeah, that's right. Or you can put your Google Plus or you can put your people do Twitter, Facebook, whatever. I mean, I don't, I don't belong to any of those because I don't yeah. want to. But you put in no, whatever, I... whatever you want, you, at you attach it in the description of your YouTube. Yeah. No, not in the description. People like to put in uh, links in the YouTube itself. Oh, yes. Yeah. While the video's playing. Yeah. See, I don't do that because I think... I just want my video to be clean and, and not distracting where things are popping up. And I like it to be everything I put in is in the description. I don't use all those because I think it's distracting. Oh, okay. But a lot of people like them and they use them and that's fine. If you want to give, like say you're talking about, uh, in your case, you're doing a video about visiting this fantastic restaurant or cafe in Tel Aviv and you, okay. and you love that cafe, you know, the food's great and you you're sharing and you're talking about it. And then you, you have done another video about another restaurant in Tel Aviv. So you might want to put a little pop up that says yeah. for another restaurant, click here. So then somebody yeah. that's interested in this can click on that and go to your next one. So you could do it like that. But how do I do it? It's in the descriptions of the, when I upload, you said? Well, what you do is, I think when you first start YouTube, I would just um, video yourself talking about one thing and then upload. I would do that for probably, say, 20 YouTubes. Keep it really simple until you're confident because you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, keep it really simple. And then once you really, you go, okay, I, I understand that. I can do that easily now. Then you go, okay, now I'm going to look at how to put the little thing up here. 
and then I'm going to work out how to put my website or, or whatever it is at the end of my YouTube. Yeah. You know, so you, you start to introduce other little things and you, within YouTube, there's a thing called creator studio and they give you help videos. It's like YouTube help videos on how to do all this stuff. Can anyone link to that? Yes. Once you've got your own YouTube channel, oh, you can okay. just go in there and find Do I have it. to tell anyone? So how no. You oh, okay. Yeah. You just go in and you just, it, it's like they do free videos for people that want to set up a channel. What's it called again? It's called it's Creator Studio or YouTube Help. I'll I'll put the link down below because okay. they've got a few different ones that I use. Okay. When I sometimes okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I go, I think, hang on, YouTube did a video about that, helping people with that. So I'll go into the YouTube bar, put in YouTube Help, and then I'll put in what I need help with, and then I'll go and watch their videos. So you can do all that for free. You don't need to. That's buy. very helpful information because I've never heard that. Yeah. That they YouTubers have a site of their own yeah. where they can study. Yeah, and, and they do it via videos. So you can watch the video, you can pause, you can do it, oh. you know. Say you're watching it on your phone and then you're doing it on your computer so you can watch and fix whatever yeah. problem you have. Yeah, see, I did, I think I did two years worth of YouTubes and I didn't even know that existed. It would have really helped to have known in the beginning, but sometimes yeah. you find out things later, you see. Yeah. Okay, so I wrote how long do you do videos? We've already talked about this. You how said long? about 10 minutes. Yeah. I think when you first start to take the pressure off you, do them around the four minute mark. That's, oh, long. Okay. That's long enough. Okay. It's better that you do it short and you keep it t the information tight rather than you talk for too long and you're kind of filling in time. Keep it okay. short, tight. And it's much better. And then as you have more information to say, then you make them a bit longer, you see. You know, when I, you know, when I first started, my videos were, I think, about four minutes long because I was doing them on my iPhone and my iPhone yeah. had really bad storage. So my phone, every time I got to four minutes or four and a half minutes, my phone would say no more memory. So I couldn't record more than four minutes. Then I got a better phone. And then I could do longer videos. But I really noticed that people, when you're watching, people watch maximum of about three to four minutes. That's why I love the most the your nuggets. Yeah, the nuggets are quick. And that's what's yeah. good. You're just a quick in and out. That's it. Simple and easy. Simple now, and we're, easy. now you're talking the zoo, to the computer you or camera? Right now? Yeah. No, right now I'm on the laptop. That's what I wanted to ask. Like, um, how do you film it with a camera? A phone? I know you at the beginning did the phone, but so if I do it with the phone, I need I'm I'm holding my phone in my hand, and it's really it's a bit hard to yeah. move and yeah to do the how do you say the all the organization yeah so. Do you have a suggestion for that? Well, I think if you... buy a camera? No, I wouldn't buy a camera. I think if you can, like with the phone, like for st this is important too. If you do it using your phone, don't record like that because it, it makes you've got two black bars on both sides. So, you've but now I'm doing this. You've got to record... <laughs> Yeah, see, you've got the black. See how you've got the black bars on your phone. Hold on, let me see if I so change if you, it. See if you twist. Yeah, see, yeah. it opens up but, the screen. So when but you record, I, I like higher. Yeah, and that's okay. I mean, put yeah. it back, put it back but, the put it back the other way if you want for today or like. But it just shows you when you record on a phone, it's going to do two black bars if you record if you record this way. But if you want it nice and wide with lots of, without the black, you've got to record this way. I think it's, when you first start a YouTube channel, use what you have. If you've got a phone, use your phone. If you've got an iPad, use an iPad. But don't go out and buy stuff straight away because you want to make sure that 
you're not wasting your money. You know, you get your channel going and then you buy things as you start to do better and you start to understand more. So start with what you have. I think, oh, the other question you said, when you're using the phone, if you can, I used to put it up on, um, like a, I put a pile of books in front of me on the table and then I'd put a glass behind that and I'd put the phone, you know, with the glass behind it or something. So oh, you don't stick together? No, I didn't stick together, but it would just keep it straight so I didn't have to touch it, you know, because like you say, if you're touching it, it, it affects yeah. the video. So try and put something behind it so you're not touching it and your hands are free. Yeah, I put mine against the bottle of water yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So in the description, I am, you've already have answered that you, when you upload the video, there's the descriptions open up. How yeah. do I, how do I put the, like the, the, the ordinary uh, stuff when you write, okay, I understand But if you want to put in a link to, to another YouTube, how do you copy paste that? Well, you copy paste it. You literally just highlight it and hit copy. It depends if you're on a Mac or on a phone. And then you just literally paste it where you want in the description. So okay. you want, I, I was going to say, if you want to, I've actually got a YouTube ready so I can show you how I do one whole YouTube upload. Yeah. So, yeah. Let me see if I can share the screen. Yeah. So, can you see my YouTube page now, Orla? Uh, yes, hold on. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm just going to move you and me out of the way. Now, when you upload a video, you just go, I'm in my, I'm in my channel here. I've just I've put it up so you can see. And what you do is you hit this little video camera and it says upload. Then it puts a screen there so you can drop something in. Now I've got a video. Let me just drop this one in. So I drag and drop it in here. How, how did, from where did you drag? I just dragged it. I stuck it on my desktop. I just oh, had, okay. I videoed it. I videoed it yesterday. And I just thought all the videos I just leave on my desktop and then I just drag and drop. I do it so simply. Okay. 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 So mm -hmm. as you can see here, it's uploading. It says uploading 3%. It's already put the title in here for me. This one's Ho'oponopono, explain part That's 11. It. So, so you can see I've already got all this information. See how I don't have to type all that in? All this yeah, how did you do that? Well, what <laughs> happens is, is in YouTube, you can pick, you can save all the basic information that you want. Now, when I first started, I had one thing. Now it's got bigger and bigger. I've got more things that I've put in. So you can put that as a default, what they call a default. So it, every time you, you load a YouTube, it will start with already putting that information in for you. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. now over here, it says public, unlisted mm -hmm. or private. Now, what, what is unlisted? Unlisted means say, I don't want everybody seeing a YouTube. Say, I just want to give it to a few, say it's a YouTube I did. Uh, say it's a course I did and it's a paid course. Mm -hmm. So the people that are going to get access to that YouTube is people that have paid for the course. So it's unlisted. Yeah. So they, they can only, only people that have the link. Can oh. see it. Okay. So that's when you use unlisted public is all the ones that you see on my channel for everybody. Oh. They it's public private with this one. I'm going to put it on private and I'll tell you why. While I'm working on a YouTube, because it sometimes it loads. See, this is it says here. There's about seven minutes left to load this YouTube. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Sometimes I'm not finished. Like I haven't put in the description. I haven't finished putting in all the links that we talk about, or I haven't, um, you know how I put words here, you know, with um, graphics, um, text, like I'll put in bigger words on the YouTube thumbnail. You know, you know what a thumbnail is? No, I, I don't remember that. Thumbnail is when like you go to YouTube and you will see all the little pictures of each YouTube yeah. that the little square picture with where you okay. see me or you see Louise Hay or you see whoever okay. that's the called a thumbnail. Now okay. YouTube gives you only three choices and you might be reading something and you're going or your yeah. eyes are closed or you're getting a glass of water or something. Okay. So if you're lucky YouTube out of the three choices they give you, you might find a good one. Sometimes they don't give you a good one because they just pick somewhere in your video. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. They pick, they like pick an editing, they do an automatically editing of the video? They don't edit, but what they do is they take three pictures, they just go click, click, click on your video in three different places. Okay. So, but YouTube doesn't look at whether it's a good picture or not. It just okay. picks wherever it wants to pick. So if they've got a good picture, you're lucky. If you don't, you've got to try and pick another picture from somewhere um, else. Okay. 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 So we'll talk a bit more about that in the second YouTube we do, because that's a little bit more complicated. Yeah. Because I didn't understand why does it show up at the yeah. end? <laughs> yeah. I'll show you. Um, See, this is loading now. So what I've done is okay. I've, I've put it on private because I'm still working on it. I don't, I don't want it to finish loading and it goes straight to YouTube and I'm like, yeah. like that. Okay. Okay. Now here it says playlist, add to a playlist. You know, sorry. Yeah. I have a, go ahead. Once, when I film myself. Yes. So at the beginning, sometimes, uh, I film myself for once a context, uh, um, and every time I felt I had a different face at the beginning. So I really needed to change, like to be ready filmed and change the face. So it would be not look like you said now. Yeah. Is that what you were meaning? Well, no, because it doesn't matter if your face is good or not good because YouTube just picks wherever they pick. They okay. just, they, it just, YouTube just goes, okay, picture here, picture here, picture here. And it doesn't give you the option to choose, you see. Okay. So you, you have a choice to take a picture if you want, a photograph of you from somewhere else, and you can dr drag and drop, copy and paste it into the actual first bit of your video. So when people look okay. at YouTube, they see a picture of you smiling, not looking really strange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay so here this is the playlist thing you were talking about you click on playlist yes. now i've got a lot of playlists here because i use it a lot i've done yeah. you know i've done lots of playlists so oh, okay okay so i just go okay this is ho'oponopono so i'm going to just type in h so it can you show how to can you show how to like make a new playlist yeah how to make because you need to make yeah, I'll make a playlist for this one that you and I are doing today. So you, okay. click, you click on add a playlist and then I'm going okay. to put, um, and yes, interviews, all it. Mm -hmm. So then I go create a new playlist. I click on that and then I hit create. Okay. So that one's already ready now for when I upload the YouTube yeah. that we're doing now. So, okay. Yeah. So th this one is Ho'oponopono. So I'll just put in H O and then it shows you, I don't know why I've got two. Um, so that's, I think that's my personal one and my business. Uh. one. So I'll just click both cause I can't remember which one's which. And so you see, then it says two playlists. So this YouTube is going into two playlists. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. So yes. as, as you do more videos, 
on that subject, you are able to just put them in. It's like you're putting them into a little file. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now do you want to ask anything before we go on to, um, cause I, I'll show you the key words down here in a minute, but I'll, I'll I just... wanted to ask something, but I, um, it's about, um, it's, it's connecting the Instagram to the YouTube channel. Like I see a lot of people that, in the Instagram channel, they put in the bio the link to the last um, to the last video. I don't know if you know how to do that or not. No, I don't. I've only started Instagram and I've got someone yeah. doing it for me. So I, I send her stuff and she does it because I, I I'm really focused on YouTube and I don't have okay. the I don't have the time to do two platforms. But yeah, <laughs> I, I will get an answer for her from that for the okay. next YouTube for. So if you ask her, there's also something that you should also do that when you're recording a story, yeah. they, they say, um, like if you did the Pono Pono, you, then you do like in the story, hi, if you want to see my Pono Pono, just swipe up and the link is there. Yeah. So that, I also don't know how they do it. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? We might get Carrie to come on with us next time and then we can, okay. ask, her, we can ask her some of those questions because she's in charge yeah. of that. So yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Because uh, I've seen that uh, Instagram is a very good platform it for is. the YouTube. It is. Absolutely. And you can do short videos, videos that yeah. disappear after you know, 24 hours and all that stuff. You know that I, I wanted to tell you they you don't have, they, you can keep the 24 hour story, uh, exactly like you keep the YouTube in a playlist. Yeah. You, you put them at the profile yep. and you save them and then they, they're all saved. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I'm still really new. I mean, I've used Instagram for personal stuff, but yeah. now using it for this, I've given that job to someone else for, so that yeah. I can, because I, me. well, I want to focus really strongly on what I'm doing and the, I'm happy to do Instagram, but I've got someone that does it and does it because they know how to use it properly. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So see down here, Orlet, see this box here? Yeah. Okay. This is where you put in all the keywords. Now keywords, oh. are, they're there so that people can, any words you put in here, it means if someone goes to YouTube, they can put in those words and they will find your YouTube. Okay. Okay. So because this is um, Ho'oponopono Explained Part 11, I'm going to highlight that and then I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it because you always have to put what's in the description, that, that one title. Okay. you got to put that in the description. That's more what I'm trying to say. Okay. I'll paste that in there. So it says Ho'oponopono Explained. And it'll say part, it shortens everything so that, you know, it's not too long in, in this box. Yeah. Um, I will always put in law of attraction because that's what I do. It's the, uh, that's kind of the big umbrella. So I'll put law of attraction. Uh, and yes, I have a question. Isn't yep. it, is it, is it the same things or do you have to put in all the, like you have had some, um, words written and you put some words also yes on? yes i've got kind of my main words like law of attraction neville but goddard self-love they put them uh, they put them automatically or you yes. put them all in no 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 they put them in automatically i put them in in the beginning like i, I told youtube anytime i do a video put these words in and how I, did you tell them uh you go somewhere in the defaults, there's a default. Oh. See how it says applying defaults? Okay, okay. You put them into the default. So you do it once and then you never have to do it again unless you want to change them, you know, or add. Okay. So, yeah. So here I'm doing law of attraction, Ho'opono. Now, Ho'oponopono is the forgiveness prayer. So I'll put in forgiveness prayer i'll put in uh ho o pono uh, meditation 
I'll put in. So see down here, it says I've got 500 characters and I've only used 249. Oh, wow. So I've That's got, <laughs> it is, it is. And then I always do self-love, self-love meditation, self-love affirmations. Um, so we're nearly up to 300. And then we'll put relationships because that's always what my channel talks about. So relationships, uh, relationship problems. That's a big one. And relationships, ho'oponopono, ho'oponopono. So I see it's already there and then healing relationships. So we're up to 391. So we just need another hundred more. So we'll put in specific person cause that's a big subject and we'll put meditation and we'll put specific person. Ho, ho, po, no, po, no. So now we're up to 452. Do you have to get to 500? No, or? you don't. I try to because I think I may as well use up as much as I can. But okay. now now I can't think of any more, so I'll go, okay, that's enough. So Neville, you put it. What's that? Neville. Yeah, Neville's already up here. Okay. Actually, we could put in Neville Goddard Imagination. It might be too much. Let's see. No, 481. So that's good. Okay. So I put, I put keywords to go with the video and I put keywords that go with my whole channel. Yes. So you I can see that. it's both. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. so now it's loaded. See, it says processing done. Okay. So I click done. And then what happens is I go back to editing and I want to create I can't do any more here. I open up another page and I'm going to pick. Okay. So there's an image there. That's good enough. I'm wait, wait, I did, oh, okay. So this is the video. See how it's set on private. It, no one can see it yet. Okay. So I hit edit video. Okay. And then what happens is I'm see how there's the three pictures there from YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So none of them look very good. I look a bit weird in all of them. <laughs> okay. So I don't want any of those. So I hit okay. here, create thumbnail. So I'm going to create my own one. Okay. So there, my eyes are closed. Okay. I'm just going to adjust and open my eyes. Okay. That's good enough. So I hit, yeah. I mean, you can see, you can go anywhere on the video. Yes. So you go anywhere where you like the picture. Usually okay. the, the beginning is when I'm not reading the book. So that's usually where I go. I think I'm not reading. So, okay. So that's good enough. I hit continue. Okay. No, it won't do it because I've got that other page open. So let me just close the other page. Okay. Why did you open another page basically well, and not do it on the book? Well, because it, it kept saying I've got another page open. It wouldn't let me pick. It wouldn't let me pick. So I'd still say. No, why did you put and why did you open another page at the first? Because when I'm in that first page, it's done what it can and it won't let me choose a thumbnail from there uh -huh. for some reason. Okay. okay. So yeah, I don't know why it does that. So let me go to continue. No, it's saying it's not ready yet. Okay. So what it does, sometimes it takes a few minutes for YouTube yeah. to, to have your video ready that you can choose something. So, yes. Yeah. So sometimes I, I have to wait five minutes or, you know, depends. Sometimes it's quick. Other times it's slow. Yeah, no, it still won't let me do it. So anyway, yeah. that gives you the idea okay. that this, you can actually choose your own picture. And then in this space where there's, okay. see how I've got the wall behind me on the, on the YouTube, yes. that's, where, that's where I write my words. That's why I record here because I've got all this space here to write words and it's white. So it's easy mm -hmm. to see the words. 
Oh, okay, that you won't yeah. never episode. Yeah, uh, yeah. Five. Okay. Exactly. So you, you have to try and think, like sometimes I'm staying somewhere in an Airbnb and there's pictures all over the walls or there's brick. So you don't have a choice. But if I can, I try and video where there's a big spot here so that I can write the word so it's easy for the viewers to see what the YouTube's about. Can you show us how you write the words? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to show you now. Okay, hang on. Background. Let's see if it'll let me do it now. Because uh, that's the bit I want to show you is how to write the words. Because it's I'm using okay. an app called TubeBuddy. No, it still won't let me. The app is on your computer? The app is actually over top. You've got YouTube and the app goes over the top of YouTube. So you just download it and then it gives you all these features to do this more easily. It's called TubeBuddy. Okay. Yeah. Well, you will put that in the description also? Yes, I will put that in the description because if you don't have this, you have to pick one of those three pictures from YouTube ah. and you also don't have the choice to write the words. You, 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 you don't have that, oh, that okay. option. So yeah, some of these things. Okay. Are, yeah, let me see if I can do it again. No, it still won't let me. So we might, I might have to. Okay, so it. I have a question Oof. in the meantime. Yeah. Uh, at the profile on your, of your channel, can you go a second or you can't leave this page? Yeah, yeah, I can leave that. Um, what can you see now, Orlet? Just me? I see you. <laughs> you see me? Okay. Yeah. So what, what did you want to see? There were two bold and in blue stuff. I can't remember what they were, but I remember that I wanted to ask you about them. On my channel. Okay. Let me see. Let me share the screen with you first. Share screen. Okay. So... No, not here on the profile where you up before you upload at the beginning. Yeah. At the beginning yeah. of my, let me have a look. My channel. Was it there? Yeah. It's written custom channel and creator studio. What yeah. are those? Well, creator studio is what you use the most. Creator Studio is where you go in and create anything from uploading a video to, um, I'll show you. No, but when I upload, I want to understand. So I make a video and then I open the YouTube and I write upload. So when do yeah. I go in the... Creator Studio. To which one? Yeah, you go into Creator Studio, say you want to go back say you forgot to put some links in or you want okay. to um add your email address or you go oh i made a spelling mistake in the title i've got to go back and fix it so you go in here and this is creator studio so what you do it see this has still got the little lock here that means it's still private yeah this one oh you see all the likes here and yeah, all our messages yeah. You see how many, how many views you've had, how many thumbs up, how many thumbs down. Okay. Um, and you go in here and you hit edit. Okay. And then what happens is you can edit. This is how you answer our, um, our messages no, also? No, the messages I answer oh. just in my general. The, when you go into Creator Studio, that's where you make changes. Where you answer messages okay. is just when you open your YouTube channel, you don't go into Creator Studio. So, okay. so this one, let's see if we can do it from now. Let's see if it'll let me do it. Okay, let's get off of that and continue. No, it's still not happy. Yeah, sometimes it just takes a little while for some reason. So it is about going in there and fixing up. See, we've got all this stuff that we've filled in, we've got the, the title at the top and then down below, you've got all your tag words, how people will find you. And that's basically it. You've got to make sure it's set on public when you're ready. 
Um, I'm still going to put the words on mine before I make it public. And then you put in the playlists and that's it. So you're basically, okay. you're basically what is doing those five things every time. Your title, your description, where you drop in any links, anything you talked about that you want people to be able to go and, and you know, go forward and check out. And then all your keywords. Then you set it on private, public or unlisted. And then you put it in a playlist. So you're doing those five things every time. One, two, three, four, five. That's it every time. Okay. And what was the other blue writing near the, the creative? Blue one? Uh, yeah. Let's go back and have a look. It was um, Creator Studio is where you do all the changes. Yeah. And then... The other one, there was two. There was two. The other one is more working on the, the, the channel behind the scenes of the channel, I think. Oh, hang on. That didn't bring me where I want my channel. Home. Yeah, sometimes it brings you to a different place and it doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to get tangled up when you're in here. Not that it's complicated, but it doesn't... Uh, yeah, see, that thing's not there now. That's the one, actually, while we're here, here's the one that you were yeah. talking about for the viewers, the channel. There's all the YouTube. Yeah. So, That's yeah. The view. yeah playlists see how it's got it in categories you've got videos you've got playlists it shows you the playlists and yes. it shows you you know it's just stuff behind the scenes where's my thing gone yeah uh, but this is how we see it it's not your private one or no this is how you see it exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so I'm trying to go back to where we saw that creator studio and uh, that other blue thing. I think uh, <laughs> maybe if you go, if you go, how to? Here we go. I think it's here. I don't know. Here we go. How there to it up, is. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Customize the channel. So when you click on that, what happens in there is you can see so you can make. It's more of the overview of your channel. So. See how it says for returning subscribers, they get to see this next. But for new visitors, it's going to show you, hi, this is my channel. See, people that are already oh. on the channel don't need to see that. They've already seen it. So do I need to make an introduction video yes. also? Yes, you make an introduction one. And then that's there for brand new visitors that come to your channel. They see, they see just that. And then when it's people... Even that, if they're brand... If, like someone I don't know puts, I tell him, put him a yes and never. He will still see this introduction because he's never been on your channel? Yeah, he'll see it the first time. Okay. But then after that, he's not a new visitor anymore. He's just a returning person. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's like this is more the structure of your YouTube channel. And how do I upload that it's my introduction? Do I need to go to the where you said the first um with the introductions the easiest way i would go to youtube and put in how to upload a channel trailer and it takes you through it step by step because the thing is okay. you you only ever do it once so you never yeah. you never have to do it again so okay yeah. and i can put a link down to that down below to the youtube we're doing now we'll put that down below i'll find the link yeah, that would be very helpful yeah 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 because you only do that once and then you never unless you want to you know you 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 get older and you're five years older and you think oh i don't look like that anymore <laughs> i've never seen that that's so weird i've never seen that on new channels yeah, yeah, I don't I think a lot of people don't have it all. A lot of people don't oh. don't know it's there. They don't use it. I know Dan Radio Style has one cuz I saw it on his channel. Okay. Um, I'm not sure about Veronica Isles. I haven't been to her channel so I don't know, but I know a lot of people don't even know this feature. So Yeah. And it's it's not that it's really important, but it's good for people that don't know you to get an idea, you know, because you're saying on this channel, I'll be doing 
for, like say it was your channel, I'll be talking about Israel, I'll be talking about my culture, I'll be talking about my language, the food, places to visit, wonderful things about the country. These are the things you can expect when you come to my channel. So anyone that's really interested in Israel can go in and know you're going to do those things. Yeah. So can I see, like, if I want to see your introduction, I'll just write a yes introduction because it's very interesting. Uh, I think it's just called main channel trailer. Let me just check. Okay. I think, I don't know what title I put on it. I think they tell you, you have, you have to put, yeah, it's called main channel trailer. Okay. So I think, okay. you know, when I, when I loaded it, it told me what words to put in. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. So that's probably a good, um, that's probably a good thing that we started today. Is yeah, to get very it. good. And now that you've seen it, you'll probably have more questions or more things for the second one that oh, we do. Uh, the last question, I don't need to put in a bank account or visa or anything. No, it's all free. Okay. The only thing you pay for is your Wi-Fi or your internet at home. That's it. <laughs> okay. See, Thank that's why you. it's so good, Orlet. That's why it's so good. It doesn't matter how yeah. much money you have. It doesn't matter how much equipment you have. Pretty much everyone these days has a phone. You can do yeah. everything unless you've got a really bad phone from 10 years ago. Maybe not. But as long as it's kind of six or seven years old and, and newer, you should be able to work off that. <laughs> okay all right well that concludes part one orlet and i doing youtube training together <laughs> thank you that was very helpful yeah very. good and it's fun like it when you start talking about the subject that you love it really is fun because you know you're passionate about what you're interested in and then you know other people will there's people that are going to be interested in the subject you talk about yeah, I really like how you break it down to easy, simple uh, steps yeah. that don't overwhelm me or the viewers. Yeah. And, like do it bit, bit by bit. Also yeah. the, the never, the love stuff. You, you basically t start slow and yeah. go from there. Exactly. That's why I also tell, um, I told you before, I'll just share to your viewers that I was very nervous. Yeah. And I don't have a subject uh, planned out. Yeah. So I just said, I'll start from small. I'll talk to you. We'll see yeah. how it goes. And then I'll get to the channel and get to the subject yeah. and start from something. Yeah. And you know what, Orlet? Next time we do this, the part two, yeah. you'll have more questions. But if you want to start to explore with me, okay. I know I want to do Israel. I know I want to do the culture, the food, the language, but can we work out a plan together? We can start, you know, bouncing ideas off each other for you to come up with ideas too. Yeah. Thank you. So we can do that in part two. Cause this is fun. It's really yeah, fun. It is. It is. Really fun. I know. I know. Especially for me, it's my first time. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, when I started, I had no idea apart from, you know, I was reading Neville, but I thought Neville at that time I was thinking, look, Neville's a bit, you know, he's a bit hard to understand for some people think he's a bit weird. Um, his language is difficult. So I was thinking, no, I'm not going to start with Neville. I'm going to start with more general law of attraction stuff. And then, you know, slowly, that's why I started the Neville Nuggets because it was just little pieces of Neville because uh -huh. that's easier, see? So yeah. it's like you, you start small, you give a little bit, you make it a bit bigger, and then you start introducing people to things and then they get used to it. So it's, that's what you can do with your channel too. You start introducing people a little bit to some Hebrew words or some food that we don't know about. You know, it's like you're, you're introducing your culture to the bigger world so that people understand more about how you live, what you eat, what you, you know, this is the thing. If you get someone from the country to talk about their country, you're going to learn lots of things about things you never didn't even yeah. know about. So I'm looking forward to your channel. I think it'd be great. We got a bit stuck there. Yeah. Yeah. Especially of Israel. It's so nice. And so everyone's welcome. And 
it's such a beautiful country. It's very hot. You can find here everything, religious, not religious, beaches. Yeah. How do you say when you, there's a lot of things to choose from? A uh, big, so, just a good selection. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Variety. 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 Yeah. Variety. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> and also the best thing is that I practice, practice with my English. Yeah. But wouldn't it be great if you do like some in English, some in Hebrew, like, you know, you yeah, can do. That's, that's a plan. Yeah. I you... feel more comfortable in English. Okay. Well, that's good. You go. And look, I understand that because I feel more comfortable in English than I do in French. I don't do French law of attraction videos because I don't know the words. Oh, you speak, you, speak, you speak French fluently? I speak French fluently, but the words for the law of attraction and manifesting and metaphysics and all that. I'm not, I never learned yeah. all that in French because I was young. So I don't have that vocabulary. So it's, I understand what you're saying. You mm -hmm. just you might be good in your language, but you've learned this subject in English. So yeah, but yeah, little, yeah. By little, little pieces, little pieces. There's actually um, a viewer, Rasha. She started doing a YouTube channel for Arabic. She's doing part of her stuff in Arabic. So, you know, there is, it's so great when you see people starting to do what is true and authentic to them. Yes. Yes, it is. Yay. <laughs> all right. Or let, I'll put down all the links down below of what we've talked about and <laughs> we will, for the viewers, do a part two and we'll, do go a little bit more into depth about YouTube and okay. yeah. So stay on the line all it and we'll say goodbye to the viewers. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you.